Now the blood has four parts to it. We have the red blood cells, we have white blood cells, we have platelets, and we have blood plasma. Now as you take a look at this picture here, these are the red blood cells. They're easy to identify because they are the round red cells. Now red blood cells are important because their function is to carry oxygen to the cells. So whenever you take a breath and you bring oxygen into your lungs, the oxygen gets attached to these red blood cells which then get pumped out of the heart to the body and then these cells drop off the oxygen to the cells that need oxygen. Secondly, these white cells are called white blood cells and we've seen them before and we know that the white blood cells are the cells that fight infections for us. So these cells are the cells that are going to destroy viruses and bacteria and other foreign invaders or other foreign particles inside of our body to keep us healthy. Now these weird shaped cells that are not exactly as round as the other ones, these are called cell fragments and these cell fragments are specifically called platelets. The function of platelets is to help us with blood clotting when we get a cut in our skin to prevent blood from continuously leaving the body. And the fourth part of the blood is called the blood plasma. Now the blood plasma is the liquid part of the blood and it makes up over half of what the blood is. So that's why blood is a liquid because it's made up of plasma. Now the blood plasma is important because the nutrients and the minerals that your cells need, they're dissolved in the plasma and also the red blood cells and the white blood cells and the platelets flow in the plasma so that's how it gets throughout the body. So those are the four parts of the blood boys and girls and that concludes this vodcast. Thank you.